one final question. According to the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, 4.6% of all Bitcoin mining occurs in Iran, making it the fifth largest miner in the world. Because the main cost associated with mining cryptocurrency is energy, Iran is effectively able to convert its oil and natural gas reserves into cash via cryptocurrency mining. Uh, are there tools that would allow financial institutions and regulators to prevent the use of mining to avoid sanctions? So, Senator, while there's uh, nothing that can prevent anyone from, with the right equipment and an internet connection from mining, um, what's interesting to me about this is that Iran is turning one commodity, oil, into another commodity, not into cash, really, but into another commodity, Bitcoin, let's say. Um, and so it still has to find a way to trade it for hard currency, which is ultimately what it wants. And so, again, it, that's why it's so important uh, uh, that we have on-ramps and off-ramps that are regulated and compliant. And I can say that in the U.S., um, you know, we have great uh, anti-money laundering regulation that requires uh, cryptocurrency exchanges to know their customers, to track all transactions, to collaborate with law enforcement, and they do. Uh, but overseas, um, there are exchanges that do not comply with mm -hmm. U.S. regulation. And I think if you ask law enforcement, they will tell you that is the biggest uh, challenge for them vis-a-vis -vis sanctions violators and other criminals. Mm -hmm.